Hey everybody, this is a follow-up video on the Henry and Henrietta being put together. I put them back together because I felt really bad about having Henrietta in a bowl. And also everybody in my family talked me into the fact that she was in the filter because it made her feel good or something like that. I'm still convinced that she was hiding from Henry in the filter, but it seems like Henry's accepted the fact that she's going to be part of his life now. Initially, he went up to her, all flared up like he was going to attack her or something. Then he swam away, and eventually he started hiding from her. Oh. And every time he hid from her, she swam up to him, and he swam back away. Like... Hey, 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 I, 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 I don't wanna. Also, some snails freaking clogged up my bubbler, which bothers me. <clears throat> my sister's bed is really fat. It's like, probably seven times as wide as Henry. Actually, let, let me ask my sister if I can put hers in the video. So, this is Walking Taco. Walking Taco is very obese. If he'll come out from behind those plants. Walking Taco! Walking Taco! Come here! Buddy, hey! I don't know how good you can see him, but yeah, he's really, really, really fat. That explains why he's hiding behind Squidward's house. Let's see if tapping on the back of the tank makes him come to the front. Walking taco's a little slow. He gets scared by a turtle, but tapping on the tank doesn't make him run away, swim away. He just kind of like looks at your fingers like, uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, four, who's that knocking at my door? Five, six, seven, eight. Gabby, don't you remember fish hooks? Can I take the top off of his tank real quick to see if I can get a better angle? Because it's all blurry with the top on. Maybe that's just because I'm super shaky. Walking Chaco, come here! He sleeps face down in the anemone. A lot. Like, literally all day. Can you see how fat he is? Bloated. Okay, bloated. Like, he's literally like at least seven times Henry's size. You can see in his reflection how freaking massive he is. Does anybody know what this is, and or how to treat it, and or how much it would cost to go to a vet for this? Because, you know, we all love Walking Chaco. He's really funny. Because all he does is sleep. Yeah, and his name is Walking Taco. What is he doing? He's just kind of like eating the wall. He's just, like, staring at his reflection. Oops, I shook the crap out of your table. Come on, walking taco. Come on, walking taco. It's funny, because you can't walk. <laughs> okay, here's a... 
a, a good view of how freaking massive he is. Like, actually. Walking Taco, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Also, for reference, this is, like, probably a two-gallon tank. And he takes up about an eighth of it. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. He just kind of blends into Squidward's house. <laughs> like, you literally cannot make out any of his definition with Squidward's house behind him. He's absolutely massive, though. I'd say he's about as big around as a quarter. Whoa, he's going into Squidward's house. I've never seen him do that before. Oh, yeah, he used to do it all the time. I'm afraid he's going to get stuck because he's so fat. <laughs> he told me to straighten it up, and I did, and now he loves it again. Plus, you're scaring him, Tommy. He has anxiety. He doesn't like being on video? No, he just doesn't like people looking. Can you see him through the window? Tommy, he's insecure about his body. Maybe he shouldn't <laughs> eat so much. I'm Gabby, you know bettas are literally, like, defined as the bottomless pit. They will eat everything in sight until there's nothing left to eat unless they don't like it. That's why Henry literally eats snails all day. And I still feed him, <laughs> but he's not that fat at all. Like, for a minute I had thought Henry might be fat, but then I looked at your fish, I was like, nah, Henry's skinny. <laughs> I was like, nah, Henry's skinny. <laughs> Henry's one lean mother trucker. <laughs> like, he, he works out all day like he's in prison or something, just waiting to get revenge. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Henry now. Alright, back to Henry and Henrietta, guys. So, Henrietta looks a little fat, honestly. I only feed her two pellets a day, three times a day, sometimes four, depending on whether or not I remember feeding her. Which I know if I don't remember feeding her, I probably shouldn't. Because it's like, what if I did, what if I didn't, I don't know, I shouldn't overfeed her, or whatever. But there's Henry being majestic. All day, he literally swims back and forth, <laughs> flapping his fins as fast as he can. Like, get buff, get buff, get buff, get buff. Get buff, get buff, get buff, get buff. I used to think Henry might be fat, but I now realize he's nowhere near. Considering walking tacos at least ten times that size. Sorry about my finger getting in the way. Yeah, Henry and Henrietta are, uh, pretty chill. I mean, not completely. If you want to see something real funny, watch this. Aw. Oh, I'm really bad at gauging where he is based on the video. Come here, Henry. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna start going in the filter. You know what? He won't do it. I'll show you guys another time. He usually, like, flares up and whatnot at it. Like that, but at the turtle instead. He 
Cain knocked her out of the water for a minute. I feel bad about that. I wonder if he's talking to her, or if he's just kind of like swimming. Do fish talk to each other? Can fish communicate? I don't know. Oh, look at her. She's so sad. Letting him establish dominance. I can't tell if her top fin is ripped or if it's just folded in. No, it's just folded in. She's fine. Also, one of the biggest reasons I put her in there with him is because I keep having these dreams where she jumps out of her bowl and I wake up in the morning and she's just dead on my TV stand and I just can't deal with the thought that she might die. Like, she's a member of my family. I can't let her go. I can't be the reason she's dead, so... I gave her a better habitat, though she may get picked on for a little while. It dies down after a day or two, based on experience with the same two fish. She just has to get familiar with the tank and the hiding places and whatnot. And she should know not to go near the white and black plants because, you know, that's Henry's sleeping spot. And if anybody goes near there, Henry gonna beat them up. Like he gonna turn into one of them, like, lamb's fighting words, people. Or at least that's how I'd like to imagine him turning into. Don't you do it, Henry. Good boy. Love you, Henry. I think I'll stop this at 15 minutes. I wonder what I'll call this video. Maybe testing the memory of Aveta. I love Henry. I just don't love it when he picks on Henrietta, you know? But for the first few days, you gotta let it happen so that way they get accustomed to each other. And they won't do it anymore because they realize it's not gonna get rid of her. If I had a probably twice as big tank, I could probably introduce one or two more females. But I'd have to do it one at a time over, like, once a week or something similar. Oh, Henry's going for it. Oh, he's backing down. Oh, Henry's looking at me now.
Henrietta's moving finally. I wonder if he's fighting his reflection or if he's trying to break his way out of the glass. Do you think the name Mike is short for Mythical? And would that mean that, like, the word bike could short, or could double as a short for bike If there's any aquatic pets in my area. More than likely not. Pretty similar to the last time I introduced them. A little more fighting though. Also a lot more being chill and backing down. I'm about to fart. I hope you heard that. Best part of the YouTube video. If you made it this far in the video, comment ew. Nasty. I'm about to end it once it gets less interesting. I know I went past 15 minutes, but I can't blame me because things got interesting. Alright, that's it for today's video. Um, I'll give you an update on my other series that I was working on probably next Hi, week. Hello. The Bulbasaur Kid out.